of late I am noticing in my practice that many young girls come to me and say we have irregular periods and we have polycystic ovarian disease. Now I want to take out some of the myths associated with this particular condition. So let's take the first case which is actually a case of polycystic ovarian disease. So let's ask this young girl what her problem was. Amma, Dain Kosam ikkada ucchayavu? Irregular periods ma'am. Ah, inka? Dain Pippa yeem problems yeman unne amma niko? Yaam, naku pimples plus hair growthing. Hair growthing ekko. Ah, hair growth body vantta unntu unnda? Leda face meeda ekkwa, chest meeda, legs meeda unnda? Body, body. Body mothaan ki? Aun me. Iti mundat ninche unnda amma, ee madhin ucchi unnda? Ah, mundat ninche unnda amma, before marriage. Yes, so around puberty she has a history that she has, ee maddina weight kuda increase ayinda? Aun me. Yes, so her, this particular young girl is 28 years old and she has excess body growth, the hair growth over the body. She also has acne and she has been putting on a little weight and notice irregular periods. So for this, what I am going to do is, I am going to do an ultrasound for her and after doing the ultrasound, let's see what we see on ultrasound. This is the ultrasound. One of the methods of diagnosis is number one from the clinical features. Which, which is very typically an obese girl but however you can also have thin girls who are polycystic. They are usually slightly higher in their body mass index. Number two, they have excess hair growth over the face, the chest and the lower limbs. They may also have dark marks around the neck which is called acanthosis nigricans. They, this is a sign that there is insulin resistance which is one of the features of polycystic ovaries and if you look at the um, periods they are usually irregular and when they start bleeding they bleed for a very long time. This is typically how they look. This is what is called the phenotypic picture. Now in addition to make a diagnosis you require an ultrasound which is the mainstay in the diagnosis. Now, I'll show you what the ultrasound picture looks like. In the ultrasound picture, you will see that the ovary is enlarged. There are many small arrested follicles. These are called cysts. They are not cysts. They are follicles which have got arrested because of the hormone disturbance. You will also see that there is something called the stroma which is in excess. The volume of the ovary is more than 10. The stroma is in excess. You will see many follicles arrested and this is called cysts. They are not cysts. And in addition to this, you will see that they have biochemical parameters, which means a blood test. The main blood test of importance to help us diagnose is AMH. The value of AMH normally is between 1.49 and 4. Anything more than 4 usually is considered little high and this is usually associated with polycystic ovarian disease. So unless the patient has clinical features, ultrasound features and biochemical features with particular reference to AMH, you don't call them polycystic. These young girls say we are P PCO. In reality, they may be nothing more than just anovulatory cycles which happen in these patients.